All right, welcome back to the Backmarker Update. Today we're going to be looking at the Arca race at Phoenix. Um, we had a lot of backmarkers, so we're going to get straight into that. First, I wanted to go over the winner, uh, Rain Short Race. So Mickey Mouse dubbed to the 18 of William Swalich. Congratulations, but also it's a Mickey Mouse win. Mickey Mouse wins mean that uh, you got the win because of a rain delay. So, I mean, you got the win, obviously, but you still, uh, the rain delay kind of gave it to you. So, can't really give you full credit for the win, but good win overall for William Swalowich. We only had four cautions today. Um, lap one, we had a, a skirmish between Kilmit in the 77, the 99 of Maples, and the 07 of Danica Dart. Danica Dart fin started 40th, finished 40th. We'll look at the back marker finishes in a bit, but terrible day for Danica Dart and the 07 team. They kind of just got involved in the 77. I think he just spun in front of the 99 and collected the 07, but just the situation of arc breaks there combined with, the, I mean, lap one chaos as usual. Lap 60, we had another multi-cart incident. 19 spins, collects 88 and 05. Nothing the other two could do. It's just another example of arc breaks at that point. Lap number 70, the 35 of Greg Van All spins. He still got a good finish in this race, was able to recover. In lap 91, his teammate, Isaac Johnson, also spun, but he was still able to battle back and get a mid-average finish. So we had 44 cars. Um, two of them withdrew before the event. Um, two of them still made still made it made some practice laps, but the 48 of Brad Smith did withdraw. So um, he still keeps his full-time provisional because he still showed up and made laps in practice, but didn't make a lap in qualifying and just withdrew from the race. The 06 of Cody Denson made a lap, but it wasn't fast enough, and he did DNQ, so he did score a finish of 41st, while Brad Smith did withdraw along with the other two cars that didn't show up for practice. And now we're going to look at this smorgasbord of backmarker finishes. So starting with a top 10 finish, a, a started off as a top 10 finish, but did not finish. We did not get any top 10 finishes for our backmarker cars, but Tyler Rafe, driving for the 13 for MBM, did get an 11th after starting in the top 10. Negative 4 gain, but getting an 11th place in an MBM car is pretty good overall. Tenor Reef is a plus 12. Um, best finish for the backmarkers today, best gain for the backmarkers today with a 26th to 14th place finish. Pretty good for him. A 50 of Trevor Huddleston for high point. Star 21st, finish 17th, plus 4 on the day. Mid finish for him, but pretty good overall to get a plus 4 for a backmarker team. The first fast track car, Kyle Keller in the number 12. Star 23rd, finishes 18th, plus 5 on the day. Pretty good for him. The 19 of Eric Johnson Jr. for McAnally, Bill McAnally Racing. Started top 15, finished 20th, still got a top 10, top 20 day, but a minus 5 overall. Mm, sort of mediocre for him. Marco Andretti, this was a big disappointment. Started 17th for Cook Racing Technologies, finished 21st, negative 4 for the day. Marco Andretti, there, were a lot of, there was a lot of hope and promise for him early, but he's not showing good signs with having two negative rate in the negative races starting starting better than he finishes in both races daytona and phoenix i know he wrecked down daytona but phoenix it just he just didn't wasn't able to compete that much the seven of tokoma coca for ccm started 22nd finished 23rd middle mid average day i mean it's still pretty good it's not a terrible terrible day he's still learning but i mean i mean what are you gonna do 34 of Isaac Johnson. He spun late in the race. Started 27th, finished 24th, plus 3. Still had a good day, even though he spun out. So, good thing to recover for him. He was able to recover and finish middle of the pack pretty well. 93 of Caleb Costner. Started 30th, finished 25th. Was able to get a top 25 finish with a plus 5. Pretty good day for him. The 71 of Nick Jones um, for JTR. Started 20th, finished 26th, negative 6. Pretty bad day, but I mean, what are you going to do with a backmarker car? We had a lot of fast guys starting in the back. They were able to get back up to the front, so he was just one of those casualties of the fast guys starting in the back and having to work their way back up. The next fast track car, Ryan Roulette in the number 12. Started 37th, finished 28th, plus 9. Pretty good day for him. Pretty good recovery for him. Number 99 of Mike Maples. 
for fast track racing as well. Started 33rd, finished 29th, got got wrecked out early in the race, but was able to battle back for a plus four gain. Pretty good for him. The 88 of Jake Bullman for MPR. Started 13th, finished 31st, negative 18 for him. The worst finish for a back marker, uh, but he did get wrecked out, so can't blame him too much. Uh, just bad circumstances. The 05 of David Smith for Shockwave Racing. Shockwave Motorsports, actually, not racing. Apologies. Start 34th, finished 32nd, plus 2. Pretty good day for him. 41 of Johnny Bornman for LGM. Start 25th, finished 33rd, negative 8. Um, just had a mediocre day. Pretty bad day for a back marker. Ne negative 63, John Almonda for SRE. Start 31st, finished 34th. Mid-pack day for basically a very, very, very backmarker team. Like, super slow on the time charts, barely got in, and um, just just dropped like a rock down to the back. Number 21 for Bobby Hillis Jr., old guy. Old guy gets a 38th place finish, not a, 30, a 38th place starting spot, third worst in the field. Gets a plus two, battles back to finish 36 for Tim Richmond. Old guy finishes the race and keeps his car clean. Good day for him. Number 10 of Brian Laster, started 35th, finished 37th, minus two for fast track. And 11, Brad Perez, started 32nd, finished 38th, minus six. Two, track, two fast track cars that had terrible days. I mean, Brian Laster, a lot of credit coming in. He was hyped up to be the next big thing. Negative two in a fast track car is pretty bad. And also Brad Perez, so much hype for him, but just negative six in a tr in a fast track car, already starting pretty poorly with a fast track speed and finishing negative six. I mean that's that's pretty awful. Not gonna lie. Seventy seven of Cody Mail uh, for CPR got wrecked out on the on lap one, so started thirty six, finished thirty ninth, negative three. Uh, I mean getting wrecked on lap one is pretty bad. So I mean pretty bad day for him. And the 07 of Danica Dart for KKM, started 40th, finished 40th. I mean, started last place, finished last place, got wrecked out on lap one. That's pretty much the uh, worst weekend for a backmarker car. Started f last, barely got in, finished last after getting wrecked on lap one. Didn't even make a lap before having to call it quits. So, and he had a wreck race car. So, pretty, pretty much the worst day for the backmarkers is that 07 of Dart. For KKM. All right, looking at the points. Um, so far, uh, Greg Van Alst is the only driver to run all the is the highest points driver right now. Uh, he's currently minus five. Gus Dean has only won one race and only ran one race, and he is still up front. And Azula as well in second. Both of them just ha had really good days at Daytona, and right now, the drivers behind them all ran two races and are still behind them. Greg Van Els, negative five. Christian Rose, negative seven. I mean, it's pretty bad when a drive, drive, two drivers at the top only ran one race and are beating drivers that have won double the amount of races that they have ran. Tim Richmond also only ran Daytona. He's still up there. Klitzmeyer, Linster, all they, all of them, negative eight, negative ten, nine, negative ten. They all ran just one race and they're still up there. So looks pretty bad for for the drivers who are running full-time in this series to be behind one, two, three, four, five drivers that have only won one race, run one way race. That's pretty bad. But Axe Club running the full season in the 03, negative 11. Backlane for Venturini, negative 12. And Jake Finch only ran one race. So pretty bad when six of your top 10 in the points have only won half the season so far and are still top 10 in points. But it's ARCA. It's still early, so what do you know? And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that's going to do it for the back marker for the ARCA Phoenix race. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like if you like this, like if you don't, subscribe if you like, like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!